Hi guys, today I'm going to go through the classification of particles. Now all particles uh, can be split up into two different groups. Uh, hadrons, which are made of quarks, and leptons that are fundamental. Now hadrons, uh, they have their own subgroups as well. Mesons are quark antiquark pairs, whereas baryons have got three quarks in them. Now mesons, you can have something called a pion or kaons. Now in the baryon section here, you can have protons, and protons are the only stable baryon. Neutrons will actually decay to form protons, and we're going to go through that decay later on in this presentation. Now all hadrons are subject to the strong nuclear force, whereas leptons are subject to the weak interaction. So leptons, they include the electron, uh, muon, and neutrinos. Now there are four known forces in nature. There's the electromagnetic force, there's the force of gravity, there's the strong nuclear force, and then the weak interaction, or the weak force. And these forces, the effects of these forces are felt between particles by something called exchange particles. Now, for the electromagnetic force, the exchange particle is virtual photons. For gravity, it's the gravitons. Uh, with the weak force, or the weak interaction, the exchange particles are called W+, plus, W-, minus, and Z. And the strong nuclear force, we've got something called gluons. Now, as I mentioned earlier, both the neutron and the proton are baryons, and they actually consist of three quarks each. Now, the neutron, inside the neutron, there are there's two down quarks and one up quark. And a down quark, they've got charges of minus a third, whereas the up quark has got a charge of plus two thirds. So if I add these up together, minus a third, uh, minus a third, plus two thirds, I actually get a charge of zero. So that's why the neutron is neutral. Whereas with a proton, a proton's got a combination of one down, so that's minus a third, but two up uh, quarks, so plus uh, two thirds, and another plus two thirds. So if I add these to, together, minus a third plus two over three, plus two over three equals plus one. So a proton has got a positive charge. Now here what I've got is the quark combinations for both pions and kaons. Now pions and kaons are both mesons, so they consist of a quark and an antiquark pair. So for the pi zero, uh, we've got an up and anti-up combination, or down and anti-down co combination. For the pi negative, uh, we've got a down and anti-up. And for the, po the positive pi on, uh, we've got a up and anti-down. Uh, kaons, uh, e they all contain either a strange or anti-strange uh, quark in there as well. So the k0 consists of a down and an anti-strange quark. The negative kaon consists of a strange and a anti-up quark. And then the positive kaon, well that's got a anti-strange and an up quark. Now as I mentioned previously, the proton is the only stable baryon into which all baryons will eventually decay. And I just want to go through the decay of the neutron with you here. So a neutron consists of two down uh, quarks and one up quark, whereas a proton has got two up quarks and one down. So what happens is, we've got a down quark here, uh, an exchange particle is given off, the W-, minus, which will eventually decay into an electron and an anti-electron neutrino here. Now, the lepton number uh, needs to be conserved. There are no leptons over here, and there's none in the proton. But the electron has got a lepton number of 
positive 1. The anti-electron neutrino is minus 1. So obviously these numbers are going to cancel and we can end up with a lepton number of 0. Uh, minus 1 plus 1 is 0. Charge is also conserved because here we've got a 0 charge, there is no charge. The proton has got a charge of plus 1, but that's going to cancel out with the negative charge of the electron. And it's a baryon number is also conserved because we've got three quarks here and we've got three quarks here. Now just recapping from the previous slide, at the conservation laws that you're meant to be aware of, uh, one is the baryon number, that's if you've got three quarks to begin with, you should have a group of three quarks at the end. Uh, quark and anti-quark pairs don't count because they cancel each other out. Lepton number is also conserved, so electrons, I've got a positive lepton number, and uh, anti-electron neutrinos have got a negative number. Uh, charge is also conserved, something that you should be very familiar with. Now, strangeness is only conserved for strong interactions, but not for weak ones, so that's something that you need to be aware of. Okay, bye for now.